For 27 years, they sold 14 million albums, won multiple Juno Awards, and they're gearing up for the release of their 14th studio album. It's called Silver Ball. Joining us this morning is my Grammy co-host with the most, Ed Robertson. Good morning, Ed. Nice Give to be it up back. I have to make a correction, though. Yes. That's we've sold multiple albums. Yes. And won 14 million Junos. <laughs> they just mixed those up. That many Junos? Yeah. I didn't even realize that they've been around that long. Yeah. But you certainly have. I said I feel old. How are you guys 27 years old? I know I'm only 27, so right? I don't know how the band is 27 exactly. years old. Exactly. Yeah. You started in utero, and you have some big news. You are birthing yet some new news yeah. to us today. Sharing Lots only of news. with BT. Uh, uh, we're launching um, a Canadian tour. Uh, we'll be touring Canada in October and November. In the fall. So uh, that this is the first time anybody's hearing this. Finally. Exclusive announcement here on BT. Woo, they're coming back, everybody. Yes. West uh, Coast, East Coast, October, November, and there's and, more. Yeah. Uh, record launches today. You can get our new album called Silver Ball on iTunes as of today. Yes. Or and, on our website, but go to iTunes. And there is so much love for you. As soon as I tweet out, whenever I tweet out you're coming on, you know that this love has been everlasting and you definitely are very grateful for that love that Absolutely. sustains and the great thing is with this 14th album I was reading that you said the band is in such a Zen place like a cyclical Zen place that you felt at as at ease making this as you did making the very first one Gordon I would say more at ease actually. How? Uh, I don't know I, I think I'm at a, a really amazing confluence of being super confident in the band and and really confident in what I do as a writer um, and and the flip side of that is just not really caring what anybody says about Good it for you you know it's like we've been in a band 27 years I'm at this new place of appreciation and just being super grateful that this is my job you know and I you're get really to, good at it I love it though you know uh, people say like someone was asking me the other night oh I saw you guys at the elbow room you know, at Western, you guys used to always play there. Were those the good old days? And I said, no, these are the good old yeah. days. Like, now I'm not trying to prove anything to anybody. I'm writing songs to communicate things that I'm interested in. We go out and play shows all over North America. It's fun. Talk to us about that. So you had this massive success with your first album. I imagine, you know, the subsequent albums right after that, you're constantly reeling with self-doubt and living in the shadow of that success. How did you push past that then for people at home saying, how do I get through my obstacles in life, in career, with family? Uh, it's a really difficult, that's a difficult question to answer because I think when you're insecure, you don't even know that you're insecure. True. You know, uh, you're just trying to do your best, but it, it's often for some other outcome. It's, it's to impress somebody else or to, mm. uh, for, for the accolades, or you're always striving for whatever, whether it's an award or a, a sales a recognition. single. Recognition. Recognition, yeah. And uh, I don't know, at some point, if you can be happy with who you are and, and what you do, it just gets better. See, it's the humble nature of the group, though, that keeps churning out the success. We're, oh, we're not humble. Up. We think we're awesome. You're, <laughs> you, but you are awesome. It's got nothing to do with being humble. <laughs> you are awesomely humble. And let's talk about the name of this. We have a picture of you actually in New Orleans. Now, we know your love for all things Dave Grohl, and we talked about his documentary and love for New Orleans. You also love it there. I mean, talk about people who really embrace and love music and culture. It's just weaved in yeah. beautifully. And did pinball playing have something to do with the making of this? Why silver ball? Okay, I'm a pinball freak, as you can see in this <laughs> Look photo. At your eyes. That's me visiting the mystic crew of the Silver Ball down in New Orleans, like a, a members only pinball club Are that you they kidding? invited me. Oh, it's crazy. It's awesome. Um, so I'm a total pinball freak. I, what I hear when I go to pinball expos and from all uh, fellow pinball nerds, everyone has been saying for years, you got to write a pinball song. Okay. And I was like, the Who already did that. Pinball Wizard exists. I don't need to write a pinball song. <laughs> then I started thinking about Pinball Machine as a metaphor for a relationship and, you know, uh, how you light someone up, how you mm. push their buttons, and all of these things started to make sense. So I wrote a pinball song, but oh, it's really a love cool. song using pinball as a metaphor. And then it was Gavin Brown, a uh, fellow Torontonian yeah. who produced our record. He suggested calling the record Silver Ball. Uh, and we all liked it. 
and now everything is like pinball themed and I swear it wasn't me. <laughs> uh, though I'm the pinball nerd in the band. And apparently pinball Clemens is going to be making a cameo in the video. I just made that up. Yeah. But I think it has to but be I done. But I think it's a great idea. Right? Like let's get on that, Ed. <laughs> so we will be seeing you very soon. Make sure you pick it up today. It is called, if you didn't hear, Silver Ball. And it's the 14th album. The pre-sale is available today. Get your tickets June 2nd for all of the touring that happens in the States. Uh, on June 5th is when it begins. And then there is is the Canadian leg on uh, in October, November. Yeah. We're on and tour in America all summer. Uh, all summer. And then Canada in the fall. Okay, and all of this begins today, actually, to get your tickets for the fall tour at 10 a.m. So be the first to get in with BNL. And it's always a pleasure, my friend. I'll be Great seeing to see you, you soon. Okay? Right now, over to Kevin, the newsroom.